This is an Uppa Baby Cruise, and we recently did a video talking about what to do when the uh, front wheels begin to wobble. Um, and uh, what we recommended in that video is that you use uh, silicon putty or food industry grease in order to uh, like apply a thicker grease in order to create a little bit of traction, but at the same time lubricate the front wheels. Uh, now, in a lot of cases, that won't work uh, if there has been like extensive wear uh, on the front swivel wheel mechanisms. And so we wanted to give you a little bit of a DIY uh, fix for this that you can try at home. So if you remove the uh, front wheel, you'll see under, uh, underneath all around the hole where the axle fits in, there are three tags. They're like little plastic tags with a bump on top. And what these are intended to do is to press in as you press in the wheel and thus hold the wheel a little bit tighter against the uh, swivel mechanism itself. Now over time, uh, these tags can wear down. Uh, in addition, uh, especially if you're using the stroller daily uh, over a somewhat rough terrain, then uh, the wheel is vibrating and the axle is widening out the hole in the center there, uh, which is causing these tags to have less effect. So if you have those tags worn down or you found that the lubrication that we advised in the uh, previous video did not help you, then here's one thing you can try. Unscrew this plate here. And then you can take it out just on the side, uh, right where the um, swivel locking mechanism is. You just pull down, and you can pull it out. Yeah, and you'll see that there's a little depression above each of those three tags. So what we're gonna try to do is to put some rubber in uh, above each of these tags in order to press them out further against the wheel. And that should give a little bit more longevity uh, to your stroller. So the rubber I'm gonna use is from three new pencils. And I found that cutting it just about right at the line of the metal uh, for causes mine to pop out sufficiently. Now again, the bumps on my tags are not worn down that far. So you need to kind of judge this yourself. Uh, really, the further it pushes out, then uh, the more uh, pressure you'll have on that fork and the tighter the wheel will fit in. Okay, so I have three pencil erasers. And now what I'm gonna do is just press them inside that little uh, divot above the tag from the inside, right? And they, they won't very easily want to stay in place. So you might have to adjust them a bit as you're putting it back on the stroller. But if it just holds long enough to screw it in, then the pressure from the screws will hold them afterwards. You would It's best if they're all uh, equal height, more or less. Okay. Three of these. And now I'm just gonna place this back on. It's easiest if you have the uh, the stroller tilted downwards, of course, so those erasers don't fall out. And press in, and then turn it back while holding it, and then screw this in tight. So after you've done this, what you'll see is that all of these rubbers are kind of sticking out, but the tag is on top and the tag is what's going to press against the wheel. And since it's not rubber, it's not going to create a certain traction. Uh, it's a little bit easier if you put it all the way on its back because you're going to now need to apply quite a bit of pressure in order to push this wheel on. Once you hear it click, you'll notice it's now a lot tighter. Now, if it's too tight and you find that it affects the, uh, the swiveling, you can then go ahead and use some of that lubricant that I recommended last time. This is that viral uh, food industry grease. So you can use that or a silicone putty and just put a little bit on. And that ought to help 
if it's uh, too tight rotating. Of course, if it still is too tight, uh, it's just a matter of changing the height of those uh, rubber eraser heads. So just unscrew it and cut them a little bit more. There you go. And now on mine, it's smooth enough that I can feel that gravity allows it to kind of pull it down. And for me, that means it's gonna work quite tightly. And if you'll see, it now does not move around as much uh, as it did before. If you look at this other wheel, it's a very easy rocking as it's loose onto that swivel mechanism. Whereas this one doesn't have it. There's a little bit, but I can actually feel the pressure as I push it. So in any case, that's a DIY uh, home fix for wobbly wheels on the Upper Baby Cruise. Uh, we hope this video has been helpful to you. And if it has been, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.